Hey guys, Shadney back with another process video for my December scrap party where I'm bringing you a new video every day for the month of December. So today I'm working on these photos. I had a lot of these photos. I had more, but these are the ones I kind of pared down to and I was trying to get them all on one layout because I have so many pictures from every December, every Christmas season. So um, I was trying to keep it down to just one layout. Um, and my inspiration for this were a couple little grid layouts where they did a grid but kept them contained in a smaller square and then layered on top of more paper. So these photos, I just put them all in a little grid on an app on my phone so that they're in a three by three like three photos across three photos down so it's nine total in then printed them as a four by six so that the photos ended up being about one and a quarter inch each so I cut those all out and then now what I'm doing is I I held my photos up on my little grid ruler there that you could see to try to figure out how big I want my grid squares in my inspiration, um, the the squares were probably about two inches each, and then they had nine total. But since I had nine pictures and I wanted some squares to, to get to just be embellished, um, I went ahead and cut them a little bit smaller and then did 12 instead of nine. So um, I just cut all the squares out of white cardstock so I could kind of lay out and see about what size and start planning where patterns are going to go. And I pulled out my snow and cocoa uh, ephemera packs. I have a bunch of tag packs. And so I'm going to use tags for some of these squares just to give them some more color without having to cut into my big 12 by 12 or 6 by 6 pads. So I'm just trimming them down. And some of these tags are a little narrower than the squares that I've made. So what I'm doing is cutting them and then layering them on top of the little square. So it'll be more like, um, you'll just see like an edge around each, some of the smaller ones. So I'm just continuing that with these. And so what I want to do is just do a nice grid and then I'll um, embellish some of the squares, have photos on some of the squares. And I'll fast forward through some of this because it's rather boring. I think I was mostly trying to show you that on that one tag I kind of made sure that the quilt looking print was centered so you can kind of fussy cut of sorts. Oh, sorry. It is early Saturday morning. I'm trying to voice over before everyone else wakes up. So sorry for the yawning. Um, so now I've got all my squares cut out and I'm just kind of lay arranging them on this white cardstock. Um, and it's just a plain white piece of cardstock that was already cut down to eight by eight because I, I think it was in an eight by eight album and I'd pulled it out. So I'm just kind of trying to figure out where I want the squares, but also decide how big I want the white cardstock. So instead of shoving them all off and then cutting my white cardstock and then putting them back on, I went ahead and cut a different piece of white cardstock because I didn't want to lose my spot and then shuffle them five times. And I think ultimately my my cardstock piece I ended up cutting to about seven and a, maybe seven and a half by seven and a half. And I'm going to ink the edges just to add some distinction around the edge so that you it doesn't blend into the next layer of paper basically. So I'm just matting it on this red. And just trimming it down to fit and then I'll 
ink that. And this background paper I pulled that has all the little North Pole stamps, which is adorable. I love it, but I don't end up using it. Um, I pull out a different one. I'm going to ink the edges again and um, then layer it on this craft cardstock. Just to give it another layer. And then adhere it down. Well, I'll cut it down, I guess. <laughs> so I left it the eight and a half inches wide. No, I didn't. I'm going to trim a little bit off. And then just going to adhere it down. So these photos, sorry, I could be telling you something interesting instead of just waiting. Um, on these photos, uh, we go to this... In Oklahoma City, we have this fun place. It's called North Pole Adventure. And it's this really awesome little little I don't I don't know how to explain it it's a little weird divided building and you go through and each one there's like little divided rooms and each one is a different special activity for the North Pole so like you go in and there's spots to take pictures then there's, oh, and here I'm trying to decide what background paper I'm going to use. I'll end up with this little, these little deers. I thought they were really cute. And it's nice on here because you um, can see a nice big chunk of border. So it you'll get to keep that whole image, which is nice. Um, so now I'm just going to go through and start um, adhering down some of these pieces. And I think I missed it, but I went it, I did go and ink all the edges of all these of all these pieces. And now I'm just pulling out embellishments, trying to decide what I want where. And some of these I'll just cut out of the packaging so that I can move them around before I decide what I want. So anyway, so North Pole Adventure. Um, so there's all these little rooms, and you go room to room. And so like the first, when you first walk in, it's just all places to take pictures. When you go to the next one, it's um, like writing letters to Santa. And then the next one's like little, like the elf's room. So little tiny beds that kids can sleep in that I don't let my daughter get into because lice. But um, <laughs> they have like toys and games and stuff like that that are supposed to be like what the elves do and then the next one's like cookies with mrs claus so there's a mrs claus that you get to take pictures with and you get to have milk and cookies and everything's built into the price of admission and then they have a whole area set up with all like fake snow but it's feels like real snow it's amazing and i think it's india's favorite and you, they have snowball fights, and it's awesome. And then um, last year, they had a big, it was like a snow globe bounce, like a um, moonwalk. And, but it looked like a snow globe, so I have pictures from that too. And um, then they have a talking reindeer and they have a play like a classroom where they can color a coloring sheet and send it to Santa or something. And then you get to build a toy and keep it. And there's a, I think I already mentioned the talking reindeer. And then the last thing is you get a picture with Santa and that's not usually India's favorite, but we always get good pictures. <laughs> So it's really, really fun. If you live in or near Oklahoma City at all, you should make the stop. It's not that much cost-wise, 
and it's a lot of fun, a lot of memories. We honestly, we usually go like twice, at least a year. We'll go with, um, these are pictures from going with my aunt and uncle and the boys. And we'll usually go with them and then go with my mom and all my siblings. Cause it's kind of hard to get everyone in one big group. So we kind of split it up and go a couple times. And then India gets to go a couple times if she loves that. So now I'm just adhering everything down. And you'll also see the pictures. From, these are pictures from last year. We'll also have pictures from with my mom and my siblings and my niece. Um, I think on a layout next week. It's in a few days. It's all planned out. <laughs> so we'll have more pictures of this. So I picked out some of these snowflakes and I, I did go through and stamp some snowflakes in the background in silver just to add some more throughout that background page because it was all stuck at the bottom. I felt like there was a lot of white space. And then you can see that little deer flare is from a flare for buttons. I ordered a bunch of Christmas ones from her and they're awesome. And then the wood grain, I mean, no, wood veneer uh, deer at the top is, I think, from a Jen Hadfield collection that I got at Tuesday morning. It had, like, deer uh, acorns and something else in it. And then these snowflakes are, really, all these extra little embellishments are snow and cocoa. So now I'm just pulling out some letter stickers, I mean some thickers, and um, I'm going to stick them down on pieces of wax paper so that I can move it around and decide exactly where I want them positioned before I attach them. I used to just stick them on and then I'd always regret it or try to pull them up and move them and ruin my paper. And so this is the easiest way mentally for me to be happy with the end result. And then I'm finally going to trim off that branding strip that I've left this whole time, apparently. So there we go. And then some tiny word stickers. Stick some down there at the bottom just to finish off that little... I don't know, just to finish off that little cluster kind of, and then I'm going to add some to one of those squares that's still open. And then I'm going to go in also behind the puffy word stickers and add some foam. I don't know if I added that on here, but I will eventually. <laughs> and then just more embellishments. Oh, these are the white snowflake stickers. They're clear. They're from Hobby Lobby. They're clear stickers with white glittered snowflakes. It looks kind of like you, um, what's that word? Um, with the powder, embossed. It, it looks like they've been embossed, like, like at home. Like they look like you embossed them like onto your paper. Sorry, it doesn't make sense, but it makes sense if you saw them in person. <laughs> there we go. I'm adding the foam behind the little tiny word stickers just to add some more dimension. I don't, I, I don't like everything to look flat like that. It just adds more interest if you add a dimension, in my opinion. So all my pages have a lot of dimension. I know some people really don't like that, but it makes me happy. So, so I do it. <laughs> And then little enamel dots. And I just did little clusters of three in a couple spots. And then I think that's about it. Um, I will go back and add journaling at the bottom. <clears throat> and I didn't add a lot. It was just kind of explaining like North Pole Adventure, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I have wood veneer stars that I'm trying, I mean, not stars, snowflakes that I'm trying to get on there, but I, I don't end up adding very many, but I do add a couple. 
and then that's it so thank you guys so much for watching um come back tomorrow for another video if you liked it please hit like and subscribe and so you can find out when all the videos come out and leave a comment if you have any questions or just anything to say <laughs> i'll be happy to answer anything or get back to you so thank you guys again have a wonderful day and happy scrapping bye